Why did you choose A-level chemistry? I chose A-level chemistry because it's a diverse subject that's applicable to many careers, especially STEM careers. I'm looking forward to going into the medical field and therefore A-level chemistry will be extremely beneficial to me personally. Why did you choose A-level chemistry? I chose A-level chemistry because uh, it's very interesting at GCSE and especially for me going into aerospace engineering, topics such as enthalpy changes and uh, organic chemistry are very useful. What is the difference between A-level and GCSE chemistry? Well, with GCSE chemistry you can learn all the content by heart and get a very good grade. However, A-level chemistry is a lot more in-depth and a bit more difficult and is more rewarding. How does it differ from GCSE? Although it's still a theory-based subject, A-level chemistry allows far more time for interesting practicals than at GCSE. This interests me specifically because I'm far more interested in applying the theory that we learn in class to the practical world. What advice would you give to someone considering A-level chemistry? Um, I would say uh, if anyone's looking to go down into the medical or STEM fields uh, to take A-level chemistry because it's essential in most of these careers. Now, uh, chemistry does have a reputation being quite difficult, although with the right mindset and attitude and revision techniques, you can easily do well. What have you enjoyed about A-level chemistry? I specifically enjoyed um, organic synthesis of carbonyl compounds as I got to use equipment and techniques that I didn't at GCSE and I, I hope to use them in my future career. So what are you doing in this practical? So currently we are hydrolyzing methyl benzoate uh, under reflux conditions uh, to then form a sample of sodium benzoate. Uh, later on we will then acidify this to form uh, benzoic acid. Hello, considering doing a level chemistry? If you wish to do a level chemistry, there are certain things you need to consider. Do you enjoy the subject? If you enjoy the subject, you're going to be prepared to take it further. You're going to be committed and determined at it. And the question is, do you have the academic flair? Again, academic flair means that you're going to be successful at GCSE. You're going to be achieving at least a level 7 at GCSE chemistry or above. Also, you need to consider where you're going in two, five, ten years time. Because chemistry should be supporting your other academic subjects. Animal chemistry is a practical subject. So someone taking animal chemistry has got to enjoy the practical side of things. Practical work supports all the concepts we study in class. Practical work is embedded throughout the course. There is no longer any coursework. What is carried out are practical activity groups. And someone's got to do a minimum of 12 practicals. Provided they are competent in 12 practicals, they pass the practical side of the course. Practicals are assessed in the main written papers at A-level chemistry at the end of the course.